Yeah, Bandelier is this beautiful and really sacred spot. Uh, we're lucky there's so much work that goes into preserving the history that was forged here some 10,000 years ago. What a beauty to see up close. People come from all over the world to zoom in on the cave dwellings at Bandelier National Monument. You can see the interior, which would be the plasters. Preservationist Myron Gonzalez is giving me a tour. He's from the nearby San Ildefonso Pueblo, one of 23 affiliated tribes. We even spotted some petroglyphs this day. If you've ever been to a Pueblo feast day, you have the kosharis, the clowns, and stuff like that. That's what they are. He said this was a ceremonial spot. Below the caves were multiple kivas and rooms that were likely used for storage. And the caves, a perfect spot for refuge, like the large and popular alcove house, provided safety. Cool in the summer, warmer in the winter, a stream nearby helped with hunting and farming. It's a living testament to the resiliency of a people who carved out a life here all those hundreds of years ago. And even today are still sustaining that belief and Pueblo lifestyle. And today leaders walk the delicate task of preserving this special spot while allowing people inside. And in a place like uh, like Bandelier where you know the sites are finite so once they're gone they're gone. A sacred spot to so many where all are welcome to come feel that connection today. I'm Todd Kurtz I'll see you next week out on the road as we keep celebrating New Mexico.